You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, a lot of people have been asking about raw processing on the iPad. Well, finally there's an app that does it. It's called Piranha. And we're going to take a look at Piranha right now for the iPad. Piranha is an application that's built for editing raw images on the iPad. And the first thing that happens when you open Piranha is it's going to ask you to select an image for processing. And by default, this only shows raw images. Now you can tell this to show you both RAW and JPEG images because now the new version of Piranha, the version 1.1, you can edit both. So I've had it set up where it can show both uh, JPEG and RAW, image, RAW images. But we're going to open a RAW image. Now this image has some issues and so as soon as I open this it's going to import the RAW image into Piranha and that's going to take a couple of seconds to do that because it's a pretty large file. So once that comes in here, the very top, all the EXIF data that's pertinent is going to show me like what I shot this with. So this is a Nikon D3S, what the ISO was. It was ISO 5000 at f2.8 at a 60th of a second. So all that image information is up there. Now you can see that this image has some color problems that we want to fix. And so let's, let's dig into uh, some of the things that we can do down in the uh, lower panels here. Now the first thing that I want to point out is there is a help menu. So if I click that, uh, the very first thing that happens is this opens up and it goes through everything you need to know about not only Piranha, but what a RAW file is and supported cameras and how to get your images from your computer over into Piranha um, and all the different functionalities of the histogram and all the different controls at the bottom of the screen, all the adjustments. The other thing that you can do here on this screen is there's a little wrench and I can click on that and then I can uh, go in here and say only show raw files or all images and that's what I did so I could show all my JPEG images and then there's all bun a bunch of different types of settings here that I can uh, turn on or off based on what I'd like Piranha to do and then of course you can always clear those out if you've messed something up so I'm going to say done here and then I'm going to go back into my image here to edit now the first thing I want to do is look at the exposure now all of these different adjustments work the same way, which is I can uh, just put my finger on there and drag, and then when I take my finger off, then it processes the image. So you don't have any live view of what you're doing, and once you uh, let your finger go, it takes a few seconds to make the adjustment. I don't like that adjustment, so I'm going to have to push this and go back to uh, zero EV, and then I'll wait again. So this is something that I don't like about Piranha because you don't really get to see exactly what your changes are doing and it's a lot of trial and error because there's no live viewing of what you're doing. It's adjust, wait, see, adjust, wait, see. So that's something I hope that is fixed in the future, maybe with a lower, lower resolution preview window or something like that because it does take quite a bit of time to get things right if you're really picky like I am with adjusting your images. So now there are different things that you can do here. There is a gamma correction. You can change the saturation, your hue and brightness. Now there's also a contrast amount. So if you really want to dive in really fast and say, give me a really contrasty image, you just drag that to the right. We'll wait for a second. That's going to make the adjustment. And there you go. You can see that's very, very contrasty. Or I could say, you know what? I don't want any contrast. Just really lower it. And again, you can see that that's uh, right back down there. I'll put that back into the middle. And then you can change where the mid-level of your contrast is as well. Now one of the things that uh, people love about raw images is the ability to change the white balance. And this image definitely needs some color correction. So on this white balance, I can push that. And it gives me some, uh, some options here. I can uh, have it as shot. I can say, give me the automatic white balance. Let Piranha choose what it thinks is best. I can go with a neutral white balance. Or I can use some multipliers. Now the thing that's missing here is a an eyedropper so I can say here's white or gray and set the white balance based on that. So that is not present in this application. Maybe in the future that will show up as well. So let's go in here and, and look at these different ones. So right now it's as shot. If I say automatic with this application it's going to go in there and it's going to evaluate the image, do some processing, and then let's see how it looks. So there it is. It looks a little bit nicer but uh, a lot of the colors come out, but that is definitely a better color balance than what we started out with. So I'm going to go in here and uh, go to a neutral white balance. And it's just going to sort of even everything out. And once this is processed, you can see not so good. 
So uh, obviously we we want to go with maybe it's the automatic white balance or as shot. It's definitely better than this neutral white balance. Now the other thing that we can do is we can go in here and use the multipliers. And what that means is I can increase the red or increase the blue or decrease the red or decrease the blue. So you can take those two things and adjust them. So let's go in here and let's add some blue. So I'm going to add in about two and a half times the amount of blue that we had before. That's going to do that. And you can see, wow, look at that. It's almost exactly perfect. And so that is much, much better color than we started out with. So it looks pretty darn good. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can change the black point and the white point. And this is something that you might be familiar with is changing your levels. So if I want all the blacks uh, to uh, really be um, you know, compressed where I take the lowest black point to be sort of uh, much higher than it is, I can just drag this over you're going to see that a lot of things are going to turn black here. So let's look and see how this adjusts. So here it goes and boom, there we go. So a lot of the blacks have been adjusted there. If I want to take the whites in, and this is really going to do something that we don't want to do, but just to show you how this does this, I'm going to really bring in the whites. And so it'll be clipping quite a bit on the right hand side. So there you go. We have a much higher contrast image. And then I can go in here and I can say, hey, I want to do sharpening. And it's going to give me a bunch of different uh, choices here, so general si soft, uh, sharpening, unsoften, maybe a portrait, you get the basic low, medium, and high, and then web. So we don't have a slider here to really dial this in, but we have some presets to choose from. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say I want to choose portrait, and it's going to sharpen that for me. Now what I'm seeing here is not a full resolution version of the raw image, but what I need to do is save it, and then it'll save it out as a full resolution sRGB uncompressed uh, JPEG file. To do that, I need to add it to the queue. So I'm going to add that to the queue. And then it says image is added to the queue. And it gives me a little message that says the image will be exported when you tap the export queue button or when you close Piranha. So I'm going to say OK. Thanks for the reminder. And so that's exactly what happens. I can go in and can load another photo, edit that one, save it to the queue, add another, uh, load another photo, add it to the queue. And when I'm done, I can say export queue and it's going to save all of those out. So now the photos are being exported to my photo album. And this might take a couple minutes because uh, you know these raw files are pretty darn large. And so that's why this takes a lot of processing power. Now Piranha, another thing to note, because it's working usually with very large raw files, it needs a lot of memory. And so if you have a, uh, a smaller memory iPad, you'll need to shut down almost every single application. In fact, on my iPad, I have to shut down all of the applications to make sure I have enough memory to do all of that processing. If I don't, I'll get an error message that says, hey, we barely have enough memory to run Piranha, so shut down your apps. And so you'll get that. So this is done, I'll say OK. Uh, this is coming out, so uh, it'll tell you how many images are exporting, and then if you want to, you can cancel that export. So now that this is done, let me go in and show you what this image looks like. So I'm going to go to my photos here, and uh, that'll open up. I'll say, go to saved photos, and there's the photo that we just fixed, and you can see that when I zoom in on it, it looks great. So there's our raw, app our raw file that we converted to a JPEG file and did uh, a lot of good work. So it looks beautiful. And that's Piranha. Well, that's Piranha. Finally, raw processing for the iPad. Piranha runs about 10 bucks, but it's well worth it if you're looking for a raw processor on the iPad, which a lot of people have been emailing about it. And finally, there's a solution. Well, thanks for joining us this week. Remember, if you find a Stellar application that you'd like to see us review on the iPad, please send us your suggestions to askmark at adorama.com. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.